Tracy, I'm so glad that Tommy made every motherfucker in his chat respect you. Like I told you, I got caught up when that thing first came on YouTube. Before that, I was trying to educate people. But like Tommy said, when you get somebody that's trying to educate, trying to teach people things, you ignorant niggas want to throw them out. Want to try to get rid of them. But I'm so glad he made motherfuckers put some respect on your name. That woman has mental issues. She got generational curses on her. And she's passing it on to that baby. Hashtag Debo. Hashtag save the baby. I want you all to go over to Avon Love. Avon Love. The video that she did was so on point about how this sector works and just how ignorant and low down women can be. I said once before, you motherfuckers got some damn superpowers that you got x-ray vision that you can look inside somebody's home and you mile thousands of miles away and you can talk about what they home look like. That little efficiency apartment that you told everybody that you own two condos, why you living off a voucher? Why you only got one bedroom? Hmm? You own, own, and then had nerve to come on and ask them babies, should you sell your other condo? Don't nobody want to live over there on that stroll where you live at? No one. But the crazies that you say you rent out to. And that you quit your job to make YouTube your permanent employment. The only way you can bring money in. But you got drugs so much, nobody in Babe Nation took up for you. Not one. And everybody in Babe Nation was sitting right in that chat. Your girlfriend didn't even come in and take up for you. Bitch, some people are loyal. Loyalty. But when they see how the fuck you shit on them people... Ain't nobody loyal to you. You don't need to go on a diet. Because hopefully some of them women woke up. And realized that they, you pimping them. You pimping them so good. Ooh, you pimping them. Pimping ain't easy, but somebody got to do it. And when their horse don't show up, you got to take the stroll. And probably leave that baby up in that house by herself. Like you did when you set up that little thing for that man in your building. And you going to leave her in that apartment running down the hallway with some mace. 
You didn't care if somebody came back and snatched her or not. But you and all them little babies you got over there that you pimping out because you being pimped out, eventually they going to wake up. They done got you all fat and juicy. You and Jay Wilson, just fat and juicy. And don't you ever, ever twerk and have fluids leaking up out of you. I don't know what the fuck that was. Was it chlamydia? Was it trichomonas? All them wet spots all over them damn shorts. And then you want to get on and sit down in a chair and talk like you on some damn sex line. Bitch, I'm going to hire you. I'm going to hire you. Bitch, you going to start making money from me. <clears throat> That's probably what you're doing on the side. Got another phone set up where you sit up and talk about sex. And yeah, you got a hard ass face, just like a man. You probably got a pain too. Gonna be honest with him. Gonna be honest. You know Tracy D and you, y'all fumble and ruffle up the feathers on the damn, put the little baby out the bedroom, and then put her in the living room while y'all in there tussling and scissoring and eating on each other. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. But you have no shame. You let everybody know you're a whore. Sitting up with a pen with some lingerie on. You know you like them women. Having a call in. Asking all lesbians to call in. So that's what fication is about. You getting them there and you sleeping with all of them. You a nasty disgrace. You ain't even a woman. You just nasty. Told you I'm going to keep my foot on your motherfucking neck. All over it. All over it. With some combat boots. With some steel on the edge of it. And bitch try to call up and say I'm cyber bullying you. Because I sent that damn tape over to Twitter. Where you told James Spill it boy to suck your daughter's dick. And about 500 people looked at it. As a matter of fact, it was 490. Five was from the newspaper. And the rest that respond to it. That looked at that video. You erased it, but I kept it. Then I shared it on Facebook. And people thought you were the most disgusting ass so-called woman that they had ever seen. You part of the Illuminati. You signed a damn blood contract. You offering up your daughter. And then you wanted to control those that's up under you because you ain't never had control of nothing in your life. You and your girlfriend exchanging clothes, wearing each other's panties, wearing each other's bras. And Dominican girl, I always say it's the most hideous, 
the most ugliest women that respond. The most ugliest. I showed you on my worst day, bitch. I look ten times better than you. I'm older than you. And you look like you my damn auntie. With them yellow eyes. How many people have pink eyes? Two and three times. That comes from being a nasty ass bitch. But you got that ass ate up. Where was Tracy D? Where was Tracy D? Your lover. Your lover, homie friend. Where was she at? How come she didn't drop down? He emailed you. I asked you to come on and debate him. Bitch, how come you didn't do it? How come Buh didn't do it? But see, every time you speak on somebody, and Tracy D, like I told you, I can insert myself into any motherfucking thing I want to. You keep associating yourself with her. Y'all better break up. Y'all better have that last little tussle in that bedroom together. And you better break up with her. Because your name is just as dirt and just as stinking as hers. She was jealous of V.S. She was jealous that V.S. had her little crowd. V.S. looked better than her. I think she wanted to sleep with V.S. See, when you own a woman like that, you want to sleep with her. When Thai Bay had to speak on me, she want to sleep with me. Hold that bitch on, uh-huh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. And don't bring your little nasty ass over here. And no, I don't want to go to Dallas with you. And no, I don't want to be around you and Tracy D. And no, I don't want to be around that leprechaun with that motherfucking hat that them damn dreads are attached to. But you ain't taking me off my game. You ain't taking me off my square. You are that old hypocrite over there, Lady Snoop. She done made an imaginary damn island. And how come y'all always scratching? Why y'all always scratching? See, that's the sign that you on some type of dope. You over there popping pills or you over there smoking that pipe. One or the other. Because some of your videos, you can see the white around your nose. You ought to just pack your shit up and get the fuck off of YouTube. Want to be a news reporter and sit up. And the whole damn conversation is about one person. Bitch, the news crew said no. No. Latching on to new YouTube subscribers and using the fuck out of them. You can't do shit on your own. New kids on the block. Bitch, that says it all for you. You still a damn kid. A damn near 50 year old woman out here being a damn kid. That motherfucker sitting over there talking about he a pastor. He a damn kid. QB. His ass look like he about 50. He a damn kid. You all picked the right name. New Kids. Bitch, find a doctor. 
uh, like I said, go on botch and find out why pubic hair is growing out of your cheeks and you got to put on a ton of makeup. I don't have nothing with women that want to wear weaves and wigs and put on makeup. But when that shit come off, the real you, the real you shows. And I know they got to put a paper bag and a motherfucking dog. A motherfucking dog pad up under you. Because that shit just leaks. Now, for every video I do, it's going to be about education until you open up your motherfucking mouth with some more foul ass shit. You called on a straight man, and a straight man cut your ass to pieces. He could just look at you and tell you was a damn gutter snipe, that you was a damn whore on the stroll. Didn't nobody have to tell him nothing. He saw it for himself. With your drunken ass, cirrhosis of the liver. Girl, take the L. Get the fuck off of YouTube. Go play in your little fishy ass cat. And take care of that baby. And for all you hideous, ugliest, I mean ugly, ugly ones that want to comment. You sure didn't comment at Tommy. You sure didn't comment to him. You bitches were cut down. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. You ain't got no loyalty. None whatsoever. Y'all keep feeding her. Somebody gonna put a pen in her and her ass is just gonna float away in the air. Just float away. Keep feeding her. Because she sure, she want to talk about Lady Snoop. Her ass was looking anorexic before y'all start sending her all your damn money. You know what the word pragmatic means? None of you all are pragmatic. None of you all. You all are so greedy that only thing that matter to you is materialistic shit. And all of y'all think you got x-ray vision that you can see miles away up in people's homes. Talk about what they got in their refrigerator. You bitches ought to get you a damn job. Go on America Got Talent and sit there and show them your damn superpowers, bitches. Now go crawl up under your queen and y'all take turns comforting her. Cause her feelings got hurt. Her feelings got hurt. And then y'all take time munching on that greasy ass, smelly ass cat. I told you to stop playing in the gay world and you got so pumped up when QB came into your chat when you was talking about that man. The only thing you could scream is, QB from the Midwest, QB from the Midwest. Oh, then you got motherfucking courage. You became Popeye then while olive oil was on the other end pumping you up thinking you can read bitch he's a read how the fuck can he tell you how to read got that ass ate didn't you like you like it 
you nasty ass whore.